Hey my beautiful Libra peeps, what's going on everybody? It's Anne from Cats and Moons Tarot and I'm coming at you guys with your July 2022 tarot reading. How are you guys? I hope you guys are well. Before we start today's video, if you guys want to check out the Looking Inward candle, you're more than welcome to. This will be in the first link in the description box down below. If you guys also want to check out the description, there is a giveaway for this candle as well. So if you want to check that description link, go ahead and click it, follow how to entry, and you might win this candle for free. So best of luck to you guys who enter. So let's go ahead and begin here for the month of July. Let's see what energy we got coming in here for the beautiful Libra gang. What do we got going on, baby? What messages do we got showing up here for Team Libra? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Moving throughout the month of July 2022. What information do we got showing up here, please, for the zodiac signs of Libra? Messages for Team Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus throughout July 2022. Let's go ahead and have ourselves a look. Taking a look here at the first card out, what do we have? And we have here the Fool card. You could be connecting with a Aries for a few of you guys. Moving on to your next card. We also got here the Five of Cups. And then taking a look at two more cards for your overall energies, we do have here the Three of Cups followed up with the Queen of Wands. So taking a look here so far at your month of July, we do have here the Fool card, we have here the Five of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the Three of Cups. Definitely good moments ahead here for you. I definitely feel that. I feel like with the Fool to the Five of Cups, this is the energy of like moving past something that has been a period of grief, a period of disappointment. You know, something that you've been upset about here is definitely starting to look up for you and change. So ultimately with the Fool card here, there is going to be some sort of release of something that's been bothering you, upsetting you, or any sort of period of grief. And what it's transforming into, honestly, with the Queen of Wands here to the, three, uh, to the Three of Cups is like, you're moving out of a period of grief that transforms into a period of happiness, into a period of power. You really feel like you're going to be surrounded by a lot of good times here coming into your month of July. There's going to be a lot of moments here, and I do hear for many of you guys, there's going to be a lot of new memories here being made as well. Uh, this could be the energy in July of having some sort of new experiences. You might be going on a trip somewhere. This could be the energy of possibly having a brand new experience. Maybe you guys are going out on a date to do something you've never done before. I do see as well for many of you Libras, you're probably going to be in a period too of like getting outside of your shell or getting outside of the box. So this is about trying a lot of new things that you've never done before. Uh, you could be getting offers as well to do things you've never done before either. Maybe some of you guys are getting the offer to like go skydiving and you were like, I never wanted to try that, but fuck it. I'm going to go ahead and try it anyways. Uh, you know, you might be getting the offer here to try new types of foods and you're like, even though I'm not an open person like that, I'm going to go ahead and try it anyways. But who knows? I mean, at the end of the day, I can't even say you guys aren't open to eating anything because my father is a Libra and my father will literally eat any freaking thing that you ask of him, okay? So at the end of the day, Libras probably aren't the picky eaters. If you look at the Cancerian over here, I'm a bit of a picky eater, all right? Nonetheless, though, guys, definitely feeling good energy here. It's a great start. Let's go ahead and continue. Let's see what we got going on here in your surroundings, all right? What information do we got showing up here in Libra surroundings, please? Messages for the Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus throughout July 2022. What do we got going on? We did have the Eight of Swords fly on out. So this is the energy of overthinking or somebody here having you on their mind. There could be somebody here who's possibly thinking about you. Uh, we do also have here the Star card. And then moving on forward to the last two cards that I have here for you, I have here the Justice card and the Judgment card. So taking a look here at what's going on in your surroundings, Eight of Swords, the Star card, the Judgment card, and the Justice card. I will say for you guys, I think that... I think that with the Star card here to the Eight of Swords, there is this worry about you in particular libra it's not so much you worrying about yourself i feel like it's other people who are worried about you um maybe with the star card showing up over here you're embracing your inner stardom this could be about taking a chance on your career taking a chance on doing something that maybe isn't super practical or super secure this could be like a concerned parent with the with the route that you're going in your career for example if you want to be an actor or an actress you know those are very difficult types of careers to get into you may potentially have a parent that's a little bit worried right now at this time on whether or not you are going to be successful they're not worrying because they're doubting you they're worrying because they 
know how difficult it could be to be in that position. So I do see that there could be some people that are a little bit concerned about you in reference with what it is you're doing, what it is you got going on. But most importantly, with the judgment card here to the justice card, it's like if I'm balanced, if I'm having fun, if I'm good, it shouldn't really matter. So I will say in your surroundings, I do see some individuals here who are potentially worried about you. Now, I think that most people are worried about you with good intent. There might be a couple of people, though, that maybe aren't. You know, there might be other people when I use the term worrying about you. It's not coming from a place of worry. It might come from a place of interest. Maybe you're dealing with people who are kind of keeping an eye on you, wanting to know what you're up to, wanting to see what you're up to. You might be having people maybe that are in the background that are a little bit jealous, Libra. So I would be mindful of that. Yeah, we do got here the world card, especially people that you've ended things with, you know, whether we're talking about ex-friends, ex-boyfriends, ex-lovers, ex-whoever, you know, anybody who's not really a part of your life anymore, they might be keeping an eye on you, especially if you're showing just how joyful and happy you are this month. So I would say just be a little bit mindful of what you put out there, um, especially on social media. For those of you that are having a fantastic time, it's always amazing to see it. But keep in mind that not everybody's always happy to hear your good news or not everybody's always happy because you're happy, right? So I would just say be a little extra cautious. You know, people might spread their negative energy somewhere. Uh, so for those of you guys that are like posting stuff on social media, maybe limit it so that only your friends can see it or the people that you know truly care about you can see it. Maybe block certain people who you feel don't give you good energy just because if they see you enjoying yourself and having a good time, they might not be thinking the nicest thoughts and you don't want that negative energy to carry over. So I would say just be mindful of that for a few of you. But as far as your surroundings go, I do feel like there are people genuinely concerned about you when it comes towards you doing what you can to be happy, uh, but they got to let the bird go out of the nest and fly, period. You know, whether we're talking about a parent or an overly concerned friend or an overly concerned partner. I do see a situation as well where some of you guys might have a partner, um, whether it's a husband, a wife, or somebody you're dating, where they are just naturally very over protective and concerned of you too. Um, if that's the case, I do see that you guys may be having a conversation with them this month saying, listen, I understand where you're coming from and I understand that it's a place of love, but you have to realize that I am my own individual as well. And there are things that I want to do with my life and I would like for you to support that. I do see one of those types of conversations coming in here too. Okay. All right. So far, so good, man. I really am enjoying this reading for you. You know, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, the fool, the five of cups, queen of wands, three of cups, you know, this is about moving past a period of grief and just jumping into the energy of tapping into your own happiness, into your own enjoyment, your own pleasure, and really feeling powerful this month. You know, you have the power here to be super happy. That's a powerful thing. All right. Let's go ahead and check in though and see how you're going to be feeling overall here. All right. So what's going to be going on? How will Libra be feeling personally throughout the month of July 2022? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's begin. We got here the Wheel of Fortune. I love it. You're feeling like a hot shot, man. I like that energy for you. Wheel of Fortune is the card of fortune for sure, but it also is the card of change. But it's not just change in a bad direction. It's like a giant 180, like things just changed and worked out for the better. You really feel here like everything has turned out for the better. So looking at your month in July, man, I'm loving this. You have the Wheel of Fortune here. You're feeling fortunate. You're feeling like your life turned in the right direction. It turned in a great direction for you. Uh, we also do have here, though, the Four of Swords, which is the energy of a break. Now, in reference to whatever this break is, let's go ahead and clarify it. What do we got here? The Four of Swords for the Zodiac acts of Libra. Let's go ahead and describe that. And that's going to be here, the princess of swords and the prince of swords. Interesting. So we got here the knight of swords and we got here the page of swords. What I feel here for you guys is that the reason we have the four of swords showing up is due to somebody who's kind of lurking in the background, especially somebody you cut off. See, Libra, remember how I previously talked to you guys saying that there might be some people that aren't necessarily worried of you, but they want to watch your every move? This is that energy showing up again in the reading of somebody you cut off. So I feel like you're remaining to be cut off from somebody. You're remaining to not talk to somebody, but they're keeping a pretty watchful eye. All right. So looking at how you're personally feeling, there's somebody here you're heavily ignoring. You're not feeling it. You want to be detached from them. And uh, whoever this person is, I'm just throwing that out there. They are keeping quite the heavy eye on you. So they're watching, man, for sure. They might even be reaching out and bothering you. And you're just like, eh, I'm going to keep on ignoring you. Okay. 
How else will Libra be feeling personally, please? Moving throughout July 2022. And we also have here the Nine of Swords followed up with the Ace of Swords. Yeah. So Nine of Swords is the energy, of course, that could represent sadness. It could represent anxiety. It could represent fear and worry. But with the Ace of Wands showing up over here, I think this is a really great way to balance it out. So basically looking at your personal feelings, you're going from a place where you don't feel super scared anymore. You don't feel pretty worried about things happening badly or poorly. You're excited with the Ace of Wands because Ace of Wands is a card of passion. It's a card of new beginnings. It's a card of a new type of flame being rekindled. It's almost as if you are feeling like you have relit the flame within you that's made you very motivated, that's made you very happy, and that's made you enjoy your life. So you definitely feel super passionate again, super excited again in life. You're not feeling like you're struggling. You're not feeling low vibrational. I think this is a very high vibrational thing. So with the Nine of Wands, or sorry, with the Nine of Swords here all the way to the Ace of Wands, I feel like on a personal level, you're feeling good mentally here. And if there is anything that's coming up in your mental, you have a good attitude about it. You have a good way of attacking it, right? If you're having a bad day, you know how to be patient with yourself. You know how to work on yourself. You know how to move past situations that are difficult, especially after just recently coming out quite a difficult situation like we've talked about in the beginning of the video. So you know how to work with yourself to the point where you can put yourself in a better mood and you can keep yourself in a pretty high vibrating state. Lovely, man. Shit is looking good. Okay. Let's go ahead and see where things are going to be going throughout the rest of your July 2022. We're going to go ahead and take a look here and see what you can expect going forward, please, throughout the rest of Libra's July 2022. What can they expect going forward? Let's have a look. What do we got? We got here the Nine of Wands. Moving on forward from that, we also got here the Seven of Wands. And then lastly, taking a look at the last two cards here for you, we do have here the Emperor and we do have here the Queen of Swords. So taking a look at what you can expect going forward, Nine of Wands, Seven of Wands, Emperor card, Queen of Swords. Let's go ahead and unpack this one for just a second. With the Nine of Wands over here to the Seven of Wands, there is definitely some things that are being left unsaid. But I don't feel like it's you, Libra. I feel like it's somebody else. This reading keeps going back to the person lurking in the background, Libra. I don't know why that's just the direction it keeps going back to. So nine of wands here, seven of wands. Yeah, someone here is definitely um, leaving a lot of things unsaid. And ultimately, I think that they're not really happy about it, but they're not really willing to speak up either. You know, you're connecting with somebody here who I think isn't ready to admit how they feel. And with the queen of swords here to the emperor card, it's also like this energy where you don't feel approachable, but it's because you're not being approachable, Libra. It already showed up in the energy earlier, Four of Swords, that you're choosing to ignore someone. So they don't feel like they could reach out, and you're doing a good job of showing them that they can, period. So that might, be, that might make a few of you Libras happy, who knows, right? But somebody here has a lot to say. They have a lot that they feel is left unsaid, but they acknowledge that they cannot confront you or talk to you because they acknowledge that you're not open to them over here. And with the Emperor card showing up, that's the way they're viewing you. They're like, look at Libra. Libra's the big boss, you know? I can't go over there and interfere with Libra's life if that's not what they're asking for. So somebody is definitely continuing to watch you from a distance, but they are not going to come on forward to you because they know that you do not want to be approached. All right. Hopefully that's it from that energy. That energy came up very often in this reading. That's not the focal point of it. You know, the big focal point of this reading is that you guys just moved out of a really rough situation and you're now in a good place in life where you're enjoying yourself. And that's what I'm super happy to hear. Um, as for somebody who has things to still, uh, to still say to you that isn't communicating to you because they know you wanna be left alone, um, I think I wanna try to move away from that energy as much as we can. So typically this is where I would jump to the outcome, but I think we need more information for you guys before we can jump to the outcome. So let's go ahead and continue. So despite the fact of everything we've talked about already for Libra's month ahead in July 2022, what else do we have here for them that they can need or that they need to hear or that could help them out or that just genuinely would be a pretty overall good message, okay? Let's go ahead and see. What do we have? We have here the High Priestess. We also have here the King of Cups. And we have here the Seven of Cups. Cool. So with the High Priestess card here to the King of Cups, this is a really wonderful energy. Because what this is conveying is that the way you're going to be feeling emotionally 
is you're going to be feeling very much so in control and in your power. When you're the High Priestess card, you're a person who's connecting with your higher self, you're connecting with your intuition. And when you're the King of Cups, you're a person that can now look at everything with love, compassion, but also can look at situations in a very emotionally mature way. The way that you're handling everything on an emotional level this month is going to really be to your benefit. There is nothing that will stand in the way from you enjoying yourself. And that's why you're the King of Cups. Because somebody can throw a curveball your way, but you recognize that you have a choice whether or not to let other people affect your energy or emotions. You have a choice on whether or not to resonate with the negativity that people throw at you. You can either let it go or you can accept it. And you're choosing not to do so. So I definitely feel like you're going to be feeling super strong and grounded and sturdy in your emotions as well. And uh, with the Seven of Cups, Libra, I also feel here too like you're going to have a lot of things a lot of options a lot of opportunities maybe coming your way jumping into this month for those of you that are in relationships your partner might get a little bit jealous because i definitely feel like you're going to get some offers coming out the wazoo okay there's going to be a lot of people that are like libra you're looking se you're looking sexy dude you're looking hella good like people sliding in your dms all that stuff uh so i will say you are very attractive this month too when it comes towards your love life, you may have multiple opportunities that present themselves to you. Now, chances are, if you're already in a relationship, you're probably going to have a lot more people that feel attracted to you because for some reason, that's how it always works, right? When we're in relationships, everybody wants us. When we're single, it is like a desert, okay? But that doesn't mean for single Libras that are watching, it doesn't mean you won't have any options or opportunities. There may be some potential options that convey or and or come your way here at this time for July 2022. So that's pretty cool. I do like that message. And let's go ahead and get two more cards here. We also have the moon card and we have here the night card. Yeah. This month you're going to realize on an emotional level how you work, how you process things emotionally, how you internalize, how you deal with everything. You're really going to start to see how you move past situations and you're going to figure out a way where you can do that so much easier. You are not in a position where you're scared to be vulnerable in July 2022, and you're not in a position either where you're so far out of touch with your emotions. You're going to be very emotionally intact here this month, and it's going to be such an advantage point for you because it's going to allow you to tune in to the higher vibrational energies and let the lower vibrational energies pass through you, period. I love this for you guys, man. I really feel like on an emotional level, you guys are looking and doing pretty damn well. Despite the fact that there might be other situations going on in your life, you're knowing how to handle yourself and how to keep yourself in a good place navigating throughout the month. All right, let's jump on in here to the outcome now, okay? What's going to be the overall outcome here for Team Libra? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus throughout July 2022. And what do we got? We got here the Empress card. Oh, I love that. And it is the Libra energy as well. So that's really cool. Yeah, you've really grown. And I think that that's going to be the realization that you're having here at the end of the whole entire month. It's like, I've really grown as a person. I've really excelled. I've really soared. And you're going to be super proud of yourself here with all the growth that you've had. But most importantly, I think you're also happy at how much you've nurtured yourself this month as well. Because when you have been focusing on your emotions since you've been so emotionally in tune with yourself you've also been very nurturing and very loving towards yourself and it has shown a tremendous amount of growth and positive impact on you the way that you view yourself your own self-image your self-worth like you've really seen a transformation in the person that you are and how you view yourself and what you put out into the world as well so this couldn't have been a better card to show up for the outcome card like literally not only the empress being the libra card but the empress just being the empress as a whole it's a beautiful card of growth it's a beautiful card of nurturing and lovingness and um this is fantastic for your outcome guys seriously so with that being said libra you're looking towards a really good month it's a month where you feel like you're going to grow a lot it's a month where you're going to be very emotionally in tune and you're going to be in a very high vibrational energy i see a lot of joy here you know despite the fact that you see a couple of kinks you know somebody here kind of keeping an eye on you from your past you know, they want to talk to you, they want to reach out to you, but they don't have the guts to because they know that you're hard ignoring them, okay? So they know damn well if they reach out, they're not getting a response. Um, I do see a couple of people here, like I mentioned earlier, worried about you when it comes towards the types of moves you're making. Maybe they're career moves, maybe they're different types of moves, who knows what they are. But uh, whatever types of moves you're making in your life, you might have people who are genuinely concerned for you. And it's not out of a place of malice, it's just out of a place of love because they want to see you win. 
Uh, but most importantly, guys, right? If you're doing what makes you happy, that's what's most important at the end of the day. You know, don't let other people influence you. Do what you got to do, okay? And as I mentioned, you may be very attractive here this month too, especially Libras in relationships. So watch out for that one, all right? Uh, but even single Libras here, you might have those opportunities coming in as well. And as far as it goes with how you're feeling, personally, overall, uh, you're ready here to attack things, man. You're ready here to do what you want to do. And I think that you're super solid right now and grounded when it comes towards any fight that you feel like the universe brings your way. You're like, I know how to deal with it. I know how to tackle it. And I know how to release all this negative energy, navigate through it, excuse me, and remain in a very high vibrating vibe. So Libras, you're looking super rock solid here. And most importantly, with that Wheel of Fortune, once again, the Wheel of Fortune is like, I really feel like my life is turning in such a fortunate place. It's definitely done quite the 180, and I'm very satisfied and proud of the growth that I'm having so far, and the growth I will continue to get. Wonderful, Libra. I'm loving it, baby. Libra, thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. Really, really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If it resonates, let me know down in the comments down below. Um, if you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. And guys, for those of you that want to enter that giveaway, don't forget, baby, it closes on the 10th of July. So if you guys want a chance of winning this candle and get in it for free, check out the link in the description below. But much love to y'all and have yourselves a good one. Peace.